This is my desk. And on that desk is an art installation. My art installation. Each and every day, this art reminds me of one simple concept. Love the process. But what are these posters? What are they doing here? And who made them? Let me tell you a story. Before it was filmmaking, graphic design was who I was. It was my first love in creativity. My freshman year of high school, I took an introductory course to computer graphics and it changed my life. My senior year of high school, I took computer graphics too and was introduced into the world of Adobe Illustrator. Here, I was no longer creating Photoshop graphics and photography things. I was creating simple compositions with dots and lines, logos. Now in college, I had a side hustle where I was delivering logos to sports teams. I mean, I got to practice the skills that I was interested in and get paid. What's better than that? And now I was also taking graphic design classes at school. I had a typography course, a logo making course, a poster design course, a magazine design course. And even though I was really enjoying all these classes and picking up new skills, I was beginning to understand that this is not what I wanted to do with my life. But that doesn't mean that I didn't love the classes. This past term, I took a class in typography where I learned the visual communication of letters, words, and paragraphs. And so for this class, the final project was a poster depicting the art of a certain prominent artist. I was given an artist named Saul Lewitt. Saul Lewitt's art is very much my style. It's bold, it's minimalist, it's full of color, but also maybe no color at all, just black and white. The process of making this poster began at the most basic level, collages, tape, a cutting utensil, and a place to put the clippings, all the way back to arts and crafts. It was an amazing way to get in touch with the actual feeling and, and physical nature of putting together words and shapes. And it was here that the basis of the entire poster was created. Quickly now, this design was evolving, but you could still see where it all came from. I was now scanning in designs into the computer. Now all of a sudden, more type is added in, there are paragraphs, and now it's a few days before the final poster is due, and I am stuck. The idea was there, but something was missing. But lucky for me, I've got a friend who's a crazy talented designer. Working with her, I was able to refine motivation and begin to love the process again. With this new input, this new insight, I suddenly had this vision of where I could go. It was this one work from Salouette that she showed me that implanted something into my mind and suddenly things started to connect. Well, in this case, actually literally, they were like connected. I'm printing out this poster, I'm marking it up, this needs to go there, this chins this, chins this, chins that. And then the poster is now finished. And I present it in class and that sense of pride and accomplishment is tangible. What started out as a collage is now this full product. But this product, this final poster, you can see the analog nature, the collage work. You can see where the tape was ripped. You can see where some of the, the edges were, were torn. They're not straight. And that's because this came from working with it with my hands. This process started with me as a designer, as a creative, and ended as a refined version of that. I use this poster at my desk to emphasize that if you don't love the craft of the art, if you're not there for all steps of it, then what's the purpose? You have to love what you do. You have to love the process, not just the finished piece, not just maybe an idea, but you have to be there every step of the way. It's never the easiest thing in the world, I can tell you that. There are times in this, there are times in filmmaking where I want to quit, I want to give up. But then I consider the process, consider how much I enjoy the highs and you gotta be there for the lows to enjoy the highs that the process is what gets you there. Love the process and you'll never work a day in your life.